What's up guys, TK here. And today we're gonna be going back in time. Um, this is an LQ4. This was also the very first video I put on my channel, the, three, the super high mileage 300K motor. Well, there was a lot of comments on that one. I really appreciate you guys, but um, yeah, we're finally getting back to this. Now, if you look at it, it's kind of already assembled. It's not, it's just mocked up. Um, there's nothing really done mechanical wise um it did take a trip to the machine shop and there was a lot of stuff that needed to be adjusted and yeah so appreciate you guys in the comment selection you know i was gonna you know cheap out and just do a strictly budget bill which granted this is still technically a budget bill we're just gonna take the machine costs and all that other stuff that we had to get adjusted out of the equation but before I really dive into this video, guys, um, this is gonna be a short video. We're gonna, over the lapse of the next couple days and weeks, build this motor because I may or may not have forgot to order parts that we needed to completely do this. So that's completely on me and I wanna apologize to you guys, but we're gonna be doing a little small basic stuff, you know, in the meantime. So. Um, also throughout, um, throughout this whole little mock-up mini build series, however you want to categorize it, I'm going to explain to you what was done at the machine shop and the cost and stuff to look for. But today we're just going to do a simple cam swap. So enjoy. Okay. Now again, guys, I want to apologize. We're technically building this motor outside, which is really not ideal, but you know, you work with what you got. So let's just say you got your motor out your car and you're finna perform a cam swap. You got your harmonic balancer off and all that jazz. Well, we gotta take our timing cover bolts off. First of all, we need to remove the tool that's on the oil pan. They are 13 mils. That's one. And that's two. None of this stuff is really torqued or tight. This is like, again, I mocked it up so we can make this as simple as we can be. I'm gonna go ahead and take out that. Cause it's outside guys so i got it all bagged up and stuff so i don't get debris and dirt and stuff inside of it all right so now we're going to go ahead and take these off these are going to be 10 millimeters just gonna store them in my pocket mm. All right, gasket and all, right on all, okay? All right, so. All this stuff looks really good. Don't seem to be any residual. We did get cam bearings installed. That was the main concern, actually. You, If you watched that first video, I'm gonna put a link to it in the description below. If that, at that first video at the very end, you notice when we had trouble getting the camshaft out, we tapped it, we beat it, we all sorts of crap, and that cam bearing was gone. And that's what convinced a lot of you guys to be like, hey, you know, machine chop? And I was reluctant. You know, I was gonna take it to the machine shop, just get cam bearings thrown back into it. Not really thinking, but I'm glad I did because the last thing you wanna do is put a lot of money into something and then throw it into something just for it to be gone. Now, fortunately enough, LS motors, I mean, they're everywhere. So really doesn't matter if you like Fugues one, but eh, we ain't trying to do all that. So. Let me bring you guys in on the camshaft that we're using. See, we, we also get to, you know, go over this stuff. That's, that's fantastic. All right, so again, budget bill, budget minded. Of course, there has to be a budget camshaft. Now, 
I got this camshaft from Eldon's, so you guys should probably already know what this is. It is a sloppy stage camshaft, but it's not just sloppy stage two. I actually wanted to do something a little bit different and I opted to go with the sloppy stage three. Now, there's a couple reasons why I decided to go with this camshaft, but the main one is, is there's not enough information on the stage three camshaft, like naspirated. You feel me? So this motor is probably gonna receive boost in the future, but it's not gonna like, I'm not going all in at the beginning, guys, budget. But this camshaft was like a hundred, 149, 159, I don't know. I caught it on a sale like 10 months ago, maybe 10, 11, more like a year, somewhere around there. I've been gathering stuff for this for a while, but um, yeah, I mean, the specs on it, you know, it's um 595 on the um intake, 595 on the exhaust, 108 lobe separation angle is 238 on the intake, 242 on the exhaust. It's a pretty nice camshaft. So we're gonna clean this up and we're gonna pop that in there. Now oh, all right. Again, guys, it freaking sucks that I have to do this outside. You know, it is what it is. You make do with what you got. So, once the machine shop installed my cam bearings. I was talking to him and I was like, hey, so I know this may seem out of the blue, but would you mind taking apart one of those rod caps for me and just tell me the condition of it so I can sleep good at night? And they were like, sure, man, no problem. We'll do that. So they proceeded to take it apart and then I didn't hear back from them until like two days later. And they was like, yeah, man, um, you gonna wanna go through this. So the block had to be hot tanked because of all the freaking material from that cam bearing and everything else. It was, it was, pretty, it was pretty nasty. And I, again, budget build it, budget mine it. I was like, man, I've thrown camshafts in the five threes. I've freshly pulled out of junkyards and stuff before. And I was like, you know what? Since we're doing YouTube now on, on the side and trying to have a little fun and put stuff out there for you guys to watch and enjoy, I was like, go through it. Just, just go through it. So they ended up did going through it and I'm, I'm glad because we could have put this motor together and then experienced a, a big old malfunction and that wouldn't have been fun. All right, we got this cleaned up or as clean as it gonna get. We are gonna put that back down. We're gonna wipe our hands. All right, so now camshaft install. All right, so. What I like to do, make sure your hands and stuff's clean. What I like to do is I like to put like a little dab of it right there on that first bearing. That gives me peace of mind and we're gonna take that and we're gonna just maybe a little bit more. Yep. All right, that's enough to help me sleep at night. For the time being all right so we're going to take camshaft this is the rear of it we're just going to put a generous amount right there on that okay and we're going to work it all the way around that camp this is a very messy job by the way all right 
So now that we got that worked, we're just gonna glide it in. Now, you see how I stopped? I didn't go no farther. That's because I'm gonna pull it back out, just barely. We're gonna, yep. You want as much as this as you possibly can as you glide through the motor, okay? Because we're taking all that assembly lube and we're pushing it back. So now that we're here, let's go ahead, apply some right here. Again, as much as you possibly, you know, you don't have to put a stupid amount of it on there, but it has to be enough, you know? I'm gonna wipe my hand off because we're gonna be getting to the short part of the camshaft here in a minute. Walk it back. Be very careful not to nick the lobes on anything. There we go. All right. Now we're here. More. Okay. Generous amount. Generous amount. I'm gonna wipe my hands. Cause now we're getting to the annoying part where we're, we're gonna fit, we're finna get this camshaft down to the nub. And I'm gonna show you what pretty much, you don't have to buy no fancy tool for this. I don't know why a lot of guys like to use fancy tools for this crap. It makes no sense to me. All right, so we're gonna walk the cam back. Walk it. There we go. Now, we're on the nub. What I'm finna do, is I'm just finna take this bolt, nothing fancy, nothing special, okay? I'm That bolt's typically gonna be like a handle for me, you got me? All right, I might not, you don't even, it doesn't even have to be a bolt, it can be anything that's not gonna mar or tear that up. Okay, so we're gonna get this one. Good and going. All right, so that should be it for the engine assembly loop. Shouldn't need any more. We're gonna top that up. Now let's finish walking this camshaft in, guys. Get our bolt. <sighs> Got assembly lube on my hands. All right. Guess I'm gonna need a bigger, bigger pry bar. Here we go. Now we're in. I ended up having to use a screwdriver at the end. Guys, I don't want to edit any of that stuff out. So, you know, you see it in real time, real life. Cause that's what we're here for. Simple cam installation. All right. As I cut myself and just see if it spins freely, which it does. Look at that. So the camshaft's installed. All right, now time for the fun part. We're just gonna clean all that off the front facing. All right, now a lot of guys, budget mindlet, they, they reuse the cam plate. They're cheap guys. I mean, you can get away with you reusing it um, I think GM says if the, if the gasket on it isn't tore up, you can reuse it, but they're cheap. I got this one right here. It's from, it's a GM part, part number 12589016. All right. 
Man. Look at that. We're going to give it a little bit of spritz. Wipe it off. Because you never know. And that's pretty much how that's gonna go. Now, the reason behind this, this right here, that's what that's for. It stops it. So, we also have these sunken bolts. People have a hard time finding these bolts. I do not know why, but if you look on this plate, sometimes they're, sometimes they're sunk in, sometimes there isn't. So, pay attention to that. These are sunken in. We got sunken in bolts from GM. Part number one one five six one four five five if you need me to i'll put it down in the description you need four of these guys one two three four so i'm gonna take one of these out i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next step now you might get extremely lucky most people put loctite on these bolts and as i have loctite if you look closely there is Loctite on this. So that saves us a step, guys. Look at that. Perfect fit. Loosely installed. Loosely installed. So, the cam retaining plate, 18 foot-pounds. If you don't have a torque wrench, you need to get one. If you want to convert it to inch-pounds, it's 216. Yeah, 216. So, let's torque it. All right. Before you start slamming on this thing, T40, remember that. There we go. Crisscross applesauce, guys. Crisscross applesauce. So, we torqued them. Let's go back and double check. 18 foot pounds, guys. Remember that. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. All right. Time to put the sprocket on. But before we do that, we have us. Oops. Got ourselves a brand new shiny chain. Now, usually, I'll reuse old chains. So they're not gonna hurt anybody. God, that burns. And we already done zip zap cleaned that off. So, on nice and deep light. Actually, tell you what I'm gonna do, guys. This is very important. We're gonna take our friend here. And what I mean by our friend is the crank. And we're gonna turn it to top dead center. That way we can, you know, match and match. Cause we're gonna set this at zero. If you look real closely, and I mean closely, there's a little dot etched into this, okay? Onto this crankshaft gear. This dot needs to be corresponding with this right here so some of these have dots on them some of them don't guys but this one right there that way you know the relationship to this is set okay so 
just kind of, yep. Let's pull you out a little bit, rotate you over. Bam! Just like that. We're going to double verify. It's not completely set. So we're going to pull this out. We're going to take this off. We're going to stick this on the here. And we're going to line it up. Bam! Dot to dot. Very important. Unless you're degreeing a camshaft for other reasons. Dot to dot. Okay? Now that we got this established, we got the relationship established. Pull that off. Take our timing chain. And we're going to do the hokey pokey. Okay? We want to get this aligned with this. Bam. Dot to dot. There's not that much slack there, guys. Look at that. All right. Now, we're about to pop open my um, my best friend. Not sure if it's 100% necessary, guys, but I use blue thread locker on cam bolts. So, that's just me. You may do something different. This has always worked for me, though. So we're going to take some of this. And we're going to yab-dab-do. Okay. One click. One click. One click. All right. 26 foot-pounds. Is what these need to be. I'm gonna go get my torque wrench and I'm finna 26 torque pound these. If you notice, there's a hole right here. There's a little thing that, you know, scratches this out. We ain't worried about that. That's in the, um, in the supply of parts that I ordered that I should have ordered months ago and I never did. Anyway, let me go get my torque wrench. You thought I was gonna torque these down? Nah. Matter torque down. Now, we're gonna take our big strong man boy and we're just gonna look at that. You know, it probably would tell if if I take the um, spark plugs out, but you know. And bam, we're back back to where it all started now i'm gonna zip this timer cover back on guys and we'll be back all right we got timer cover back on just like that guys i want to say thanks for stopping by and checking the video um just a camp a simple cam install that's literally how simple it is to install cams no cut no nothing just plop and go you know be sure that as you're putting it in you supply engine oil assembly lube anything like that of the sort onto the lobes make sure you do it throughout the whole entire process make sure that if the bolts you get for the can retaining plate if they don't have loctite on them Please get blue Loctite. Don't put red on there unless you just don't ever want to see it come out ever again. Because those bolts, they can't take that much torque. So when you go to torque them, don't, do not, do not like strong arm them bastards. Don't even think like, oh, I'm just going to tighten it up and just give it a, a good old nice snag. 
because 18 foot pounds is not a lot of pressure guys not a lot and the last thing you want to do is break that bolt and one thing turns into another um 21 foot pounds for the um cam bolts or you know your favorite brand of impact and just dug them on and just close your eyes while you do it that's what i did um yeah guys pretty simple i guess next we're gonna be taking the cylinder heads off again they're just mocked up we still gotta do valve springs in these guys i'm gonna show you how to do those too um we gotta install lifters and all that other bull job we gotta get inside this oil pan down here this is a holly swap oil pan guys remember on that video i said that we was going to be installing this into an upcoming project it's almost time once we finish buttoning all this stuff up guys i mean it don't take much to really if you really think about it it don't take much to realize what we're putting this in but i'm just gonna keep the wow factor in i love you guys you guys be safe um Stay safe, drink water, brush your hair, brush your teeth, and I'll see you guys in the next video. TK, out. Dang, this is a sexy motor.